Welcome, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm gonna be doing some more home decorating, doing a little decor refresh and switch around my house. I haven't changed anything decor wise probably since like March or really early spring. So now that it's summer, there is just like a couple of things I wanna switch up. I am going to rearrange my china cabinet a little bit and put some new thrifted finds in there. I've acquired since the last time I uh, redecorated it. I'm also going to reconfigure my built-in bookshelves a little bit, but otherwise I'm just gonna kind of make my way around my house and add some summery touches and change what feels right and um, probably do some cleaning along the way as well. So let's go ahead and do some decorating. All right, and starting off, I decided to work on my china cabinet. So what I like to do is just dig through my stash and pull out a few different things that I think I wanna use. So I've got a variety of thrifted items here that I've picked up in the last few months. I also brought out my stash of faux flowers and plants. I keep all of them in this little black container here. So I started on the top first and I'm just clearing off everything I had up there and giving it a good dust using a Swiffer dusting cloth. And then I just started playing with some of my items and creating a new vignette. And then I am moving to the interior of the china cabinet and I really don't have a process for this. It's just moving things around and in and out a million times until I find something that is visually pleasing to me. These little asparagus plates are also a new secondhand find. I had not displayed these at all yet, so I thought those would be perfect to put in here for summer. Asparagus is definitely my favorite summer vegetable. I have this large green cabbage or lettuce leaf bowl that I bought secondhand maybe like six months ago. I knew I wanted to highlight this piece specifically. I grabbed some of my faux lemons and put them in the lettuce bowl. I wasn't sure exactly how I felt about this when I first did it, but it's growing on me now. I do think I like that bright pop of color. And now we are gonna move into my living room and work on my built-in bookshelves. So same kind of process, removing a lot of the decor elements that I previously had, dusting off the shelves. And then once again, just switching things in and out and moving things around until I find something that I feel like works well. of putting some seashells and whatnot into the silver dish. I really didn't know how it was gonna turn out when I was thinking about it, but I think it ended up turning out so pretty. I also have some picture frames that have been sitting around that I've been meaning to hang up on the walls in my living room since I had finished the picture frame molding in here last winter. Here's how these frames turned out. So I only have two. And initially my intention was to just do one on each side and then do two different frames as well. But I decided I liked them stacked together and I'm gonna pick up two more from Ikea and do the same thing on the other side. I'm not 100% sure what art prints I wanna neener. Yeah. 
I'm not 100% sure what art prints I want to put in there, there yet, but I'm fairly certain I'm going to do some European architectural prints that are like black and white, kind of simple. I also ordered some new pillow covers for my big couch throw pillows. I wanted, these are starting to get kind of nasty and falling apart at the seams a little bit. And I just wanted something kind of fresh and new. So I picked these, um, they're like a creamy off-white, but they're nice and soft because these big ones I like to lay on. So I wanted something with a softer texture. This isn't very soft. And I thought the pom-poms were so cute. I ordered a 22 inch, but I think it's going to be a hair small, a hair of a tight fit. So I just ordered the 24 inches. It looks like it'll fit, but it's actually just a little small for the pillow. And I don't want to have to spend too much time wrestling getting it in there. And another recent purchase was this uh, Bissell pet hair eraser hand vacuum. Now, I have a different hand vacuum that's from Black & Decker, and I've had it for years, probably seven or eight years at this point. And I know I've touted that one up and down on my channel, and it is a good vacuum, but mine is starting to lose its battery life, like it doesn't hold a charge, the suction is starting to die a little bit. And I also wanted a hand vacuum that had an upholstery cleaner attachment, which the other one does not. This was like the highest rated one on Amazon and it's specifically for pet hair, which is what I wanted it for. And I've also been having issues with the hose attachment on my Dyson, so I'm excited to try this out. I've been using just the regular hose. I have not used this yet. We're gonna test it out here shortly on this couch. I haven't cleaned my upholstery in quite some time. So there's like a fair amount of cat hair on some of my furniture. So we will test that out and see how it does. I also need to pull up the cushions because I know there is probably a lot of crumbs down there. I haven't done that in a while either. those crumb bums. Those are the bottoms of my cushions. That's probably the worst spot, but look at that. We got popcorn in the cracks. So this vacuum overall, I like it. It's got good suction. I really like the upholstery cleaner, but oh my gosh, it's super annoying because the battery life is not great on this thing, especially compared to the Black & Decker one that I have been using. You get maybe 30 minutes out of this thing before you need to charge it, which I can already tell is gonna be a huge pain for me, but I am really glad to have this handheld upholstery cleaner. I also wanted to change up my coffee table a little bit and make it more functional. I pulled this bowl out of my decor stash. I like the lemons for summer. And I decided to use this bowl to hold all of the things that I like to keep on my coffee table. Next, I am moving into my kitchen and I decided it was time to switch out my little napkin cafe curtains above my sink. I still had a spring toile out here and I decided to switch them out for these light blue gingham napkins, which I think are very summery. I have this large blue and white vase that I've just had sitting out in my front hallway entryway area with nothing in it and I decided it's time to put something in it so I grabbed some summery tropical feeling faux greenery and worked on creating an arrangement. also put my summer wreath up probably like two weeks ago now. I gave it a little bit of a refresh. 
put a new bow on it, this like corally orange striped ribbon. But I made this faux hydrangea wreath like three years ago now maybe, and it's held up really well. I just re-glued some of the smaller pieces back in a little bit, but not too much has fallen out. It's not discolored. I'm, I'm really happy with how, how well it's done. And here's how my little china hutch cabinet turned out. Not too different than it was before, but just switched up a little bit. I really like this little vignette up here. I like the mix of like vintage and modern with this canister and these little colonial people. I don't live in Maryland, but I live like 10 miles north of the border in Pennsylvania. And this is like so Maryland. Maryland people are obsessed with the crabs and a lot of this like East Coast vintage colonial style. So that definitely gives me the Maryland vibes. I think the lemons are growing on me. I wasn't too sure about them at first, but I think they are a nice bright pop of color for summer. I'm pretty sure everything in here is either thrifted or was given to me secondhand. There's nothing brand new in here. And here's a look at my built-in shelves. Not too different than before, like I said, but just a little fresh update. This shelf right here is probably my favorite of all of them. I just love the colors of it and it just feels like summery and beachy. I really like how the seashells in this um, silver dish turned out. I put a new uh, satin bow on this little topiary here. still waiting for my new pillow covers and washing the old ones. And here's baby Nina. Hi, he says. These need to be dusted. That's actually kind of gross. Um, I just put this little basket back here. I didn't have that there before to put extra blanket in and also my like little, well, I don't need to pull that out, back massager that I always have laying on the sofa. So that way it's kept there easily for uh, access and to put it away. Here's just a quick look at my living room. We've been in this house for going on three and a half years and I still am not done with it, but I feel strongly about not just going out and rushing to fill your house with random things from like home goods and mass produced stores, I guess. I really like taking the time to find things that speak to me. This has been a work in progress, but I am so proud of how far it's come. I did the built-ins myself last summer. The beginning of the year, I did the, the molding, the picture frame molding. This um, coffee table, I still have plans to paint and give a facelift to this summer. Once I get more of these frames over here, I think that'll look really nice. I also would love to eventually do wall sconces on each side of this frame here, probably like some gold ones. Here is a look at this shelf. I need to go back in and fix some of the wallpaper I put on the back of here the seams are starting to come off a little bit i might just get some like rubber cement or something like that um but here is how this shelf turned out again not too different a couple of little more summery beachy vibes i added this little dollar store american flag Here is how this faux summery plant situation <laughs> turned out. 
I don't even know what to call it. I really like it though. It's got very summery, tropical vibes. These are all faux, but I don't think they look that bad, I guess. <laughs> These big um, Monstera leaves are from Ikea, and the palms, I think, are from Michael's. I did put a faux orchid in here when you guys saw me decorating it, but I decided to take it out because I thought it, it just wasn't necessary. Like, I really like just the green, tropical, leafy vibes here. So I think that turned out pretty well. Little boy says, hi. Hi, Mimi. The sleepy little baby here says hi too. He's been very helpful chewing on all of my faux plants as I decorate and pull them out and switch things. He's like, I'm napping lady, leave me alone. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I was able to give you some motivation or ideas and inspiration for cleaning and decorating in your own homes and spaces. As per usual, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button down below if you're not already subscribed for more home decor and lifestyle content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.